Good morning. This is Ashley. Today is May 15th, 2018. Um, I woke up this morning and got my coffee and took my daily medications that I have to take. And was just, you know, watching YouTube, trying and getting into the Word. And, um, I, my stomach attacked me. I had a stomach attack. And I'm feeling a little bit better. It's still hurting, but not, it's not as painful as before. And, um, I was on Sister Judy's live feed, and she was, um, talking about Not how not to lose your crown and not to um, judge other people's walk with Jesus. Rex, what is all over him? He has some. What you get into? He's giving himself a bath. He's some all over him. Look at his tongue. <laughs> Did you see his tongue sticking out? Oh, Rex. So. <clears throat> I'm trying to feel better. Uh, right now, it's not. I'm not in as much pain as I was before. I was crying. It was horrible. It feels like um, feels like knives stabbing in my stomach, all over the place. It's like stabbing pain and um, nausea. Uh, oh, I think Chili wants you to leave him alone. So I went, I decided to read Psalms 23, which I've, I've known Psalms 23 my whole life. I just didn't realize yesterday I was watching many fish, um, his channel and he likes to connect the numbers and had said about Psalms 23 and 46 and 69. And so I came to read Psalms 23 and lo and behold, it's this verse that, or this chapter I've known my whole life. So I want to read it to you from the Holy Scriptures. Um, Psalms 23, a psalm of David. Yahweh is my shepherd, I do not lack. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He turns my back. He turns back my being. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. When I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread before me a table in the face of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of God to the length of days. <clears throat> I, I love this and when I did community theater um, one of the scenes was me and another woman and in the it was an outdoor historical drama called The Long Way Home and the story is about Mary Draper Ingalls, who was abducted by the Indians, the Native Americans, in our town. Um, I think where it happened was in Blacksburg, Virginia, near Virginia Tech. Uh, that's where the 
Ingalls and the Drapers lived. And to this day, their descendants still live in this area. But the play was performed in the New River, in, um, in Rafford, Virginia. And they no longer do it the way they used to do it. They do it um, differently. But that historical drama was a big part of my life. And that's where I got into like the Native American scene and into all that stuff. Uh, <clears throat> while I was hanging out there as a teenager. And when I was 16, 17, I was casted as Betty Draper, which was Mary's sister-in-law. And she was taken too. So it was Mary and Betty. And then Mary's two children, um, two little boys were taken. But Mary was pregnant, like probably seven months pregnant when they took her. And on the trail, they were going to um, Kentucky, I believe. Or Ohio. I can't remember. But they had to travel. Mary lost the baby. Because the. The stress. And. The condition they were being treated. She lost the baby. And they do a scene. Where Mary. And Betty. And the boys. Buried the baby. That she gave birth to. And they say this passage. Over the baby's grave. So. Um, the Lord is my shepherd. I do not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He turns back. My being. He leads me in paths of righteousness. Righteousness. For his name's sake. Yea, though I'll walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You, thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup overfloweth. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will rejoice in the house of the Lord forever. That's how we said it. But this is a different, uh, different translation. Um, so I just want to share that with y'all. Pray for me to feel better, and I will be praying for all of y'all. Love you. Fruits, armor on, you know all that stuff. Bye.